Welcome back to Learn Data with Mark. In previous videos, we've explored how powerful Alarma is for running large language models locally. Today, we're going to combine it with LanceDB, which I think is perhaps the most developer-friendly database for local AI. By the end of this video, you'll have a RAG system running locally without any data leaving your machine. So let's get to it. So I'm going to assume that you've already got Alarma downloaded. If not, check out this video up here. And it might already be running in the background. If it's not, you can do Alarma serve and then the server will be running. We're now going to go over to my IPython notebook. We'll import Alarma and we're going to come up with a question for it to answer. So what were the iPhone's best new features? A new iPhone launched earlier this week. We'll call Alarma.chat. Then we're going to pass in the name of a model. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to use Llama 3.1 and I'm going to tell it to stream the results. And then I'm going to give it a messages, which is just going to have our question. And then we'll iterate over the chunks that come back and print them to the screen. And you can see it sort of goes off and it says there's been many versions of the iPhone and it starts like listing all the different features that were in different iPhones going from 2007 all the way up to uh, sort of recent days, but it hasn't really answered the question because it doesn't know anything about the iPhone event that happened earlier this week. So let's see if we can improve this answer. So I've downloaded a bunch of BBC business articles and I've split them by sentence into a CSV file. Now I'm using BBC articles, but you could just as easily do this with your own documents. Anyway, let's have a look what we've got. So you can see here we've got each row has a URL, a title, an index, and then most importantly, the text, which is one sort of sentence. It's kind of one paragraph of the article. And that's what we're going to be embedding and then searching. So let's import pandas and we can call the read CSV function on that file. Now I've got 2000 articles and the length of the sentences it follows a right skewed distribution. Let's just have a quick look at one of the rows and you can see it's exactly the same as what we saw on the terminal. We're gonna import some modules from LanceDB and then we're gonna get a registry and we're gonna tell it, I wanna get a llama. So we're gonna tell it our embedding function is gonna be from a llama and then we can call create and we say, which model do we wanna use? So I'm gonna say the mixed bread model. Now you can use any Alarma model from the embeddings tab on the website. And like I say, I'm gonna use mixed bread, but Nomic works quite well too, but feel free to pick your favorite one. We're then gonna create a schema. It maps directly to the names of the properties that are in the data that you're gonna import. So our first field is text. We're gonna tell it that that's a source field, i.e. this is the text that we would like to embed. Our second field is gonna be vector, and that is gonna be where the embeddings come from. Now, if you already had embeddings, it's just gonna ingest those straight in, but that field doesn't necessarily have to be in the source data. And then index, title, and URL, they don't have any annotations, so those are just gonna be metadata. We're then gonna initialize our LanceDB database, and we're gonna create a table called sentences, making sure that we pass in the schema so it knows how to map all the data. And then we're gonna call table.add with the data frame. And that's basically gonna take each of those rows and it's gonna do the embeddings. And if we, while that's running, come over to our Alarma tab, we can see that the requests are kind of flying through to the embeddings endpoint. There are loads of them sort of coming through. I guess it's gonna do 2000 in total. We can also run Alarma PS to see the currently loaded models. So by default, models are kept alive for five minutes after their last use. Let's come back again and you can see it's still going through those requests. And then if we come over to the tab where we were to begin with, you can see it's taken about 40 seconds to get through those 2000 rows. Let's have a look at what we've got inside the table now. And you can see it's now got an extra column filled in called vector. And you can see it's got a bunch of floating point numbers. Let's have a look at how to query that now. So we're gonna call table.search, pass in our question, we'll get three results. And that will come back as a kind of dictionary, but we're gonna tell it I want it to be in my pedantic schema. And then let's have a look at the results. And you can see it's got a bunch of chunks from an article about the Apple's iPhone launch from earlier in the week. If you like what you've seen so far, don't forget to subscribe so you'll know about new videos. But now it's time to put the two pieces of the puzzle together. So we're gonna introduce this function called extract context to just get us the bits of the results that we need. So title, text, and index should do it. And then we'll sort it so that it's gonna have the bits that came first at the top. Uh, and you can see in there kind of the same data, but just a, a, a little bit subset. Of it. Now let's introduce a system message for Alarma. We're then going to go back and get our uh, original Alarma chat. 
We'll add in the query against LanceDB. We'll extract the context out of that. And then let's go down a little bit and update the messages to pass in the system and pass in the context. And then if we come down and run it, you can see now this time it's talking about the iPhone 16 and you can see it says it's got longer lasting batteries, more powerful chips, enhanced privacy features. And I guess this is kind of identifying that it was a fairly underwhelming release, at least according to the tech press. So there we go. We've set up a RAG system with Alama and LanceDB all running locally. To take your skills further, be sure to check out my RAG playlist for more videos.